Um, before we even get into today's assignment, I want to go ahead and set the set the stage for um, success in this section by completing what we were talking about the other day. And of course, I didn't save it, but we had this uh, six point one. We had number of sides, and then we had interior angle sum, exterior angle sum, okay, three sides, interior angle sum I think ended up being 180, didn't it? No new news there, we've known that forever, some of the angles in a triangle are 180 degrees, no big deal. Do you remember what the exterior angle sum was? 360, okay, you guys have a good memory, that's good. Four was 360 for my interior angle sum. What was my exterior angle sum? 360 again. Okay. Five sides was 540 degrees. So understand that these are not just numbers. Let's understand what they mean. You know, just like we did the other day, if you take five side uh, pentagon, go ahead and draw all the angles, uh, draw it and measure all five angles, add them together, you should get 540 degrees. What was the exterior angle sum? 360, no, that's what 360 was the last one. 360 for this next one, too? Okay. So were they always 360? Yes. We're just going to say they're always going to add up to 360. Okay. Six sides, 720. Seven sides, 900. Okay. Eight sides, 1080. What I would like to do today is I'd like to come up with a formula. If there was n sides, what's the interior angle sum? Okay. So what we have to do is we've got to look back at what we've already done. What can I do with 3 that gives me 180? What can I do with 4 that gives me 360? Five. What do you notice about all these numbers? Goes up by 180. Okay, goes up by 180 every time. How many 180s are there here? There's just one of them, right? Okay. This one is 180 twice. This one is 180 three times. This one here is 180 four times. This was 180 five times. This is 180 six times. Now, and what do you think? It'd be 180 how many times? Take a look at it. It's three led to one, 180. Four led to two. Five led to three. Six led to four. Seven is five. Eight is six. N would be N minus two. So that is the interior angle sum of a figure with N sides with N sides, okay? I don't really have a proof for this, but I'm gonna try and convince you of it, if that's all right. Don't draw this, just check it out though. This is kinda neat. So what I'm drawing here is I'm drawing something with three sides, four sides, five sides, six sides, okay? If there's three sides, there's just one triangle. Four sides, let's cut it up into triangles. How many triangles are there? Two triangles. Four sides, there was just two triangles. What if I cut this up into triangles? Well, it's not totally cut up into triangles yet, so I need to cut again. So now it's totally cut up into triangles. Five sides, how many triangles? Three. Six sides. How many triangles? 
four triangles. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to draw something on your own. Draw an octagon. Draw an octagon. Doesn't have to be pretty. Just draw me something that has eight sides. And then I want you to cut it up into triangles. Bless you. Thank you. So you guys filming tonight again too? I think so. Is it just one game tonight? Two? Two? Two girls games? Okay. Um, so Oakland plays Tecama. Um, who, anybody, any idea who's in the other game? Or are we first game or second game? Let's put it that way. Second, second game. The other one is West Point and yeah. West Point. Oh, okay. And then so the winners of those two play? Yeah. Oh, it could be another BRLD matchup. Okay. I asked you to draw an octagon. I'm going to show you how I usually draw an octagon. I think a stop sign when I think octagon. I drew my four sides. And then I'm just going to connect them. Okay. So now cut it up into triangles. Have you already cut it up into triangles? How many triangles did you get? Should get six. Okay. So, I don't, you know, your, your cut's going to be look different than mine. And there's no right or wrong way to cut it. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So hopefully we agree with this. Octagon cuts up into eight, uh, eight sides, cuts up into six triangles. And so we're saying that six triangles each at 180 degrees gives me 1,080 degrees total. Okay, but then how does that have, you know, these triangles, how does it, what does it have to do with these interior angles? Well, if I think about it, if I would, you don't have to do this, but if I would measure, you know, mark all the angles that are in these eight triangles, look what I would have. I would have, uh, let's go to green now. I would have this angle, which I've added into one of the 180s. I would have that old angle that was made up of one, two, three little chunks. I would have this big angle. Now, that's, remember, I'm looking for interior angles. Found it. Another interior angle. I found it. So every single interior angle has been added in some way, shape, or form to come for that 1,080 degrees. Okay? So here's our rules. Interior angle sum is 180 times n minus 2. My exterior angle sum is 360. Always. I don't really have a proof for that either, but... Look at as we go, as I add more sides, look at what happens to my exterior angle. My exterior angle here, first off, was really big. Now it's getting smaller, now it's getting smaller, now it's getting smaller, now it's getting smaller. So as we have to open that up to put another side in, the exterior angles are going to get a little bit smaller. Okay, so that's what allows them to constantly add up to, 100, or to 360 degrees. Okay, so now let's, um, let's throw something else out there at you. Okay, let's go back up to here. No, I'm going to do a new chart. Were you guys happy to see Kansas City win, though? It was a great game. I, um, I enjoyed it. I mean, you, you haven't been really following football too much. Uh, my wife watches like six games a weekend, and she's now in a depression because of the end of football. Um, but I'll usually catch one here and there. But this game was, I was really, really interested in this one for whatever reason. Okay, let's review a couple things. Regular polygon. 
What's a regular polygon? Have we talked about a regular polygon before? I don't know if we have, have we? Yeah, okay. So all sides equal and all angles are equal. All sides are equal and all angles are equal. Okay? So when we think of a regular triangle, that is just the nice, pretty triangle that's equilateral, where we have 60, 60, 60, and my three sides are the same. That's not rocket science, okay? Um, so what we do is to find out what each one of these is, we take the 180 degrees and divide it by three, each one was 60 degrees, okay? So I'm going to make a little chart here. Number of sides, interior angle equals, exterior angle equals, and this is if regular. All of this is dealing with regular. Triangle, three sides, interior angle, 60 degrees. What would my exterior angle be? My interior angle is 60 degrees. What's my exterior angle? 120. You guys should know that. 60, and this would be 120 degrees. Four sides. We might be able to do this without drawing a picture. Let's see, and then I'll engage you visual people by drawing a picture afterwards. Number of sides. If it's got four sides and it's regular, what does each angle measure? Four sides. 90. 90 degrees. Each, each interior angle has to be 90 degrees. What's my exterior angle then? 90. Because take a look at this. If I draw a regular quadrilateral, what's another name for a regular quadrilateral? Square. Square. Every single one is 90 degrees. So we took its interior angle measure and divided by the number of sides to get 90. Okay, let's go to five sides. So now this is where it's going to get a little bit uncomfortable for you just because you don't, haven't really seen this a lot. Got a pentagon, all, all sides are the same, all angles are the same. If all angles are the same, how can I find out what each angle measure is on the inside? Where's the 540 come from, sir? Yeah, all these angles added up in a pentagon, we just got done talking about it, it's 540. We divide it by the number of sides, and I get 100 and... Eight degrees. So 108 for my interior. You're not going to have to memorize these, but I want you to be able to find them. 108 for an interior angle, then my exterior angle would be 72, because I have to add up to 180, interior and exterior. So now I want you on your own. Hexagon, go ahead and find what the interior angle sum is and the exterior angle sum is with six sides. I need to take attendance here real quick since we've got um, a couple of folks gone. Such poor programming. This 
is weird. Oh, caps lock. Have you ever done that before? Your caps lock is on so you can't figure out why your passwords don't work. Okay. So, six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, six angles. What's my interior angle sum on a hexagon? The interior angle sum, the whole thing, all of them added together. 720? Okay. And what do I have to do? I add that by six sides, and I get 120 degrees. Say, yep, if you had 120 degrees. Yeah. Okay, good. 120 degrees, then my exterior angle would be 60. Okay. Go ahead and do one with 10 sides. I'm not going to try and draw one. Okay. Trying to get us to where we can come up with a formula for if there's n sides, how are we going to find what each interior angle is? Okay, so 10 sides. What do we do? Take what divided by what? 1440 divided by what? 10. Okay, and I get 144 degrees, right? Um, so 144 degrees, so my extra angle is 36. Okay, so what if there was N sides? 